What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, I'm going to be going over something in Illustrator that I haven't really seen a tutorial for actually. Um, Logo Concepts recently did a uh, Illustrator tutorial series where he covered this. But as far as just like a tutorial specifically for this, there's not really any around that I've seen. And so I thought I should do it and it's going to be on um, how to give objects rounded corners and uh, how to make the ends of objects rounded stuff like that so uh, let's go ahead and get started um, and let me say one thing real quick there are like like if you search like illustrator rounded rounding corners or something like that there are tutorials but it's not really um, like this it's something entirely different um, and I think people will find this way more helpful. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started, as I previously said. Um, so let's go ahead and add on a rounded end here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab an ellipse. And I'm going to change the color to red because it's much easier to see. And uh, let's go ahead and scale it up. We want it to be about the same size. Like that. All right, now let's go ahead and take a rectangle tool and I'm going to change this to black. Whoop. Let's draw it out, then we'll change it to black. There we go. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and select the, uh, the box and then also, uh, okay, we're going to select the top here, hold down shift, select the box. And then under a uh, Pathfinder, if you don't have Pathfinder, you can go into Windows, and there's Pathfinder right there. And we're going to go ahead and hit uh, minus front there. That is what it said, right? Yeah, minus front. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I'm not saying that wrong. And there you go. So there's the rounded end, and you can just take this, change it to black, and then you can just select both of them. And uh, you can hit Unite in your Pathfinder, and there you go. And you can do that with both sides. And now I'm going to show you how to put a uh, round, um, a rounding. Oh my god, I can't speak. Uh, please, guys, forgive me. I get like this some days where I just can't speak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and round this off in here. So again, grab the ellipse tool. I'll just leave it black. And we'll just scale it up. Something like that. I'm going to stuff it in the corner here. That should be good, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's alright. So, um, first things first, I'm going to take the top and the bottom here, I'm going to merge them together, and I'm going to select the circle of the sphere, and I'm going to select the uh, T. And now I'm going to come over here to a Shape Builder tool, click it, and if you notice, I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you come in the uh, blank area here, you can see like a mesh up here. You click it, you can see it fills it in. So now we can go ahead and grab our, uh, whoop, I have everything selected still. We can grab our circle, sphere, whatever you want to call it, and just delete it. And uh, there's our rounded corner. And then let's go ahead and select everything and hit Unite. And there you go. So now you have a rounded end, and you have the inside here rounded as well. And like I said, you can do that to all the ends and you know the inside corners so uh, hopefully you guys will find this helpful um, I'm really surprised no one's done a tutorial on this already um, definitely think someone should have of course like I said logo concepts um, had it in his um, illustrator tutorial but it wasn't just specifically about that it was about several things and that just so happened to be included in it so uh, I decided to make a tutorial sys Wow, this is ridiculous. Specifically about that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to make bloopers sometimes because sometimes I get ready to do a, a tutorial and I'm stuttering nonstop and I just have to keep restarting and restarting. Um, so maybe maybe I'll give you guys some bloopers sometime of uh, me messing up. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and my stuttering didn't get on your nerves. I'm out of here. Peace.